So you've done the zooms with the former players, and you had that giant model of the basketball court in the locker room where you have alumni sign. How important is embracing the past? Well, it's very important. Uh, my first conversation, my first phone call was with Norm Stewart. Uh, obviously, it was an unbelievable conversation, and quite frankly, I'll give you a funny story. I asked him to be my assistant coach. <laughs> he declined, but uh, having that as established relationship is very important, not just with him as a coach. All the formers, the former managers, the former assistant coaches, the former players, those things are important. Even the, for, uh, the parents of those players that still hold Mizzou in their heart, I think it's important to establish a relationship and reconnect with them, and that's something that I'm uh, definitely excited to do. And with that said, Norm's in your living room, you're a high school stud, <laughs> and you say no. How do you say no to Norm? Well, I'll tell you what, I did tell him he undersold the beauty of this place during that time. <laughs> uh, but ultimately, it's one of those things where I think it was uh, Keon Dooling and Clarence um, that ended up coming from Florida. Oh. Uh, so that class was the class I came out of high school with, uh, and, and it was a tremendous opportunity and an honor to be recruited by Mizzou at the time and Norm Stewart, but they planted the seed at which I was able to kind of listen more to as Desiree Reed Francois and President Choi spoke highly of this institution. So would an 18-year-old Dennis Gates be good enough for you to win games in the SEC right now? Would you recruit yourself? Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> okay. Without a doubt. I think it's important when you're building, not only building, but looking at uh, unbelievable rosters, guys that cut down nets, hold up trophies and raise banners. There are guys that will become coaches and we have to identify those young men in the recruiting process. We got to continue to build the relationships in grassroots at the grassroots level uh, with unbelievable AAU programs. And, and we're in a great city that has has them. Uh, and I'm excited to be here, excited to reach out and extend the olive branch and friendship to those to those men. One of the great things you did was you re-recruited Aiden Shaw. What yeah. can he bring to your program? Well, Aiden Shaw is an unbelievable young man. First of all, starting with his parents, unbelievable, unbelievable people. I, I've enjoyed from day one getting a, uh, you know, getting a way to uh, get to know them. My hats off to the previous staff who've done an unbelievable job in recruiting them. Uh, I was able to establish a relationship, a plan for Aiden Shaw, and I'm excited to, to share that plan with others out there, uh, other young men that we recruit. But he's an unbelievable young man with the tools, the talents that allow him an unbelievable future at Mizzou and beyond. And I'm looking forward to being a part of that. He reminds me of those um, players that, are, uh, that I've coached in my past that I one day sat in the green room with. So for me, having a young man in this first class is very important at the caliber of which Aiden Shaw plays the game. Where will, where will we see the Leonard Hamilton imprint on your program? Well, you've already seen it. I've learned a lot from Leonard Hamilton. He's my mentor. I've called him uh, at 3 in the morning, 4 in the morning. He picks up on the fir first ring. So <laughs> you, you, you will always see that as it relates to just the relationship building, the respect for the tradition, uh, the recruiting component the X's and O's and the management style. I think you see it every day. And, and, and the first glimpse was the, the press conference when I was first introduced as the head coach, the Witten family, uh, head men's basketball coach at Mizzou. Where do you want kids? Well, let me phrase it this way. The end of a four-year career. Absolutely. What do you want that kid to say about playing for Dennis Gates? It was the best experience uh, that he could have signed up for uh, that I uh, executed on the plan that I uh, talked to them about at the very beginning, uh, but also he pushed me beyond my expectations and my limits. Uh, we won ch championships, plural, right? I think that's important, but also he's a guy that will always be in my life uh, as it relates to the young man, but also the parents, the coaches, the high school coaches. You have to recruit the village, and I, I too want them to say the same, that coach did exactly uh, what he said, and this young man uh, his dreams, aspirations have come true because of the Witten family head men's basketball coach at Mizzou. Okay, now these are the fast ones here before we go. No such thing you, as fast. You can't hedge. <laughs> Favorite player growing up? Michael Jordan. Favorite coach not named Leonard Hamilton in the country right now? George Ravelin. Where is Mizzou on a 1 to 10 in terms of NIL, in terms of growth of that? A 100. Really? Wow. No basketball in this world, you would be doing what with your life? I would be a lawyer or fishing. 
Best player you were ever on the floor with playing against? Kevin Garnett. Finest moment for you ever as a player? Describe it. Finest moment yeah. ever as a player? There's multiple. Right, you can't ask a one question. 30-point game, a dunk. No such thing. I think uh, my finest moment as a, as a player uh, was when I knew my last game uh, was taking place. I think that was a special moment because at that point, no one took it away from me. Uh, I was able to decide on my own. There was no injury. Uh, I was able to decide on my own that this was going to be the last time I suit up in a team atmosphere, but also start the next phase of my life. Love your answer. That's great. Um, your wife's knowledge of basketball, 1 to 10? Uh, 100. Favorite place to eat in Colombia as we speak? Oh, Nourish. Larry or Magic? Neither. Michael or LeBron? Jordan. Finally. <laughs> finally. I grew up in Chicago. Oh, it's got to be. Yeah, what am I thinking? All right, finally. Give me your Mizzou dream right now for this program. Well, it's not just a dream. One day it'll be a reality, and it'll be a reality with the young men that believe in me, the staff that we've already put together, but also our fans, uh, their participation and, and their support, which I definitely appreciate. And that dream is to one day uh, win a national championship.